Hi. So you can see here we have the two mock mill. Uh, the older one and the new one, the Lino, both is 200. We have just uh, we have just milled pole. We just milled, we just milled a, a few kilos actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. A few kilos of the. You can see the beautiful, beautiful rye. It smells so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just grown actually behind <laughs> on the field behind it me. It you hasn't know. come a long way. Huh? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that more locally, you cannot get that. We tried that, to get uh, away, but we uh, caught uh, it, and uh, now we turned so, it into flour. Huh? So I'm going to do a scalded rye. So normally you don't do it hundred uh, percent rye. You know, you mix some wheat in it. Well, we will see probably we will go 75 percent rye because we need a little volume in other the bread will get very flat like this heavy so it's very important to do the scalding we do the scalding because we want the bread to moist to keep moist and then to to have a special character that it will keep for longer period okay people used to do it in the old days because they will bake once a week or every second week because they were farm, farmers you know there was no bakery that you can go and buy bread, fresh bread every day, okay? So that was the problem. But it's a beautiful bread. They do it in France, they do it in Austria, I think in Germany oh, also. Yeah, they, sure. they do it in many countries, in Sweden, Denmark, Norway, in Russia, Finland. So let's check out the water is around 70 degrees. When I cook it, it was boiling. So it should be around uh, 70 to 80 degrees, you know. So when we put it here, we are talking, the water is cooling down at the same time. So, so it's very important, like 70, at least 70 it's degrees. It's right about 70. Yeah, 70. It's yeah. slowing down now. Yeah, it's 70 degrees, yeah. okay? Yeah. Probably it will go 70, 71, 72. It'll cool down as soon yeah. as it hits the flower. So yeah. what we do, Paul, if you mix and then... Uh, I'll You're just making me work. <laughs> So we will get like a almost like a glue you know so yeah wow you see the rye absorb very much and uh you know for me it's easier if i have a dough, uh, dough scraper for that yeah to get to the bottom of it yeah but we can use we just we just need to you no know, it's so easy for you you know you're a baker right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So here you have a door scraper. Oh, uh, that makes me happy. <laughs> There's two phases in life. The first mm -hmm. phase, you don't know about door scrapers. And the second part yeah. of your life, you know about <laughs> door scrapers. It's all much nicer. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. knows. And all especially, much. especially one, I just want to point something. When you have a half moon scraper, then you can go in a round ball. If you square like this, you cannot yeah. go, you yeah. know. But half moon, you can go in a round ball. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So, so. Absolutely. And then I can use it to press that together to get... Make sure that I don't have any dry flour left. And scrape the dry flour off, press it into my bowl. But it really does make a hard. Yeah. Part so I think this is just Honestly, incorporate too. all the flour and the water. Yeah. And then we will check the temperature again. Now probably it's around uh, 50 degrees now. Let's say I don't know. I'm just speculating. Okay. <laughs> but this is uh, we're going to well, check. I haven't out. got all the. I haven't yeah, it's got okay. All it's the okay. It's 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 I don't have to be so, too perfection to the, get to perfection with it. Yeah? So okay. we're going to mix. This is not the dough, it's nothing. This is just a part of the dough. Okay. So let's check out the temperature now. Yeah, I say around 50 degrees. So. But it's enough to get the chemistry going that you're trying to use Yeah, with yeah. It. You're yeah. using bread chemistry here to break down the starches. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And you create the, um, a different... Uh, so, let's say I said... different for structure, yeah? I said around 50 degrees, so it was 51 mm -hmm. degrees. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do, we're going to let it cool down till it gets around 30 degrees and we can use it. So, this will be baked today because I can, I can leave it till the next day. But uh, since uh, this recipe, you will see later, it has a lot, half of it is uh, ferment, the starter, eh? or the leaven, you call it. I always say starter is the leaven that we mix in the dough, okay? 
<laughs> so you will see when we get back to the next process okay so need, this need to cool down to 30 around 30 degrees up to 35 is no problem if we have it too hot it will cool down the uh, the activity of the stock okay and we don't want that mm -hmm. to happen or when you put it into the, yeah, when, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. mix the leaven in yeah, yeah you want it to be below the the biological yeah, level 35 yeah something yeah like that. yeah okay. yeah so that's why we're going to do it and we will see what's happened later when it probably it will take an hour or something okay doesn't matter if it's if it's even cooler it doesn't matter it's better then you can just make the dough to keep it later okay makes a lot of sense yeah so let's get back later when it's cooled down to make the dough and i'll see you next so now we are back you saw earlier we were scalding the rye rye it was 50 degrees little 51 degrees so now it's gone around two hours because we are doing other things in between so let's check out the temperature of this dough i said between 25 to up to 35 degrees you can use it so you see it's uh, over 25 26 so it's, it's just coming perfect. down towards room temperature yeah yeah just, just perfect just perfect yeah. in sweden room room temperature in sweden is 21 22 degrees yeah exactly yeah so it's coming down yeah, yeah. It's not yeah, there yeah. yet yeah. no but it's, it's okay but this is fine yeah. this is perfect mm -hmm. so it's still a little warm, 26 degrees, it's still a little warm. So you can see here, here we have the rye leaven, which is, uh, which is 120% hydration. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. So with a fresh meal rye, you know. So it's very simple because this is like, if you count the flour, how much flour we had, we had uh, 400 gram of flour and 500 gram of water. So we go off to the flour, here I have 500 grams of uh, leaven. So 400 gram will be 100% and 125% uh, I think it will be. So it's more leaven, we're going to bake it after two, three hours, we're going to bake this bread. And then here I have the, the wheat because I put a little wheat because to get the volume. Otherwise, we're going to end up <laughs> well, really flat. The flat, pancake, flat, huh? flat, yeah, yeah, the, pancake, yeah, the right? rye, you know, because it's going to bake freely. Well, that's the kind of bread I bake. It's I'm very good at that, you know. I get, make the best pancakes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but because we're going to bake this freely, yeah. so that's why we need some volume. Mm -hmm. right? It's okay. It's more rye. You see, the leaven has a lot of rye, and the scalded flour has a lot of rye. So that little wheat doesn't matter, okay? okay? It still is whole grains. It's still the most important. Mm -hmm. It's been fresh meal, yeah, you know. Absolutely. And this is what we do. I put the salt also. This is kind of like a mish recipe in, the, the, in France. This yeah, is yeah. A, a larger loaf and a different shape than the mish, but that's basically a rye, me, a rye wheat uh, uh, combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like mish. French country uh, loaf tradition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but normally... Normally you can use the uh, old dough, pâte fermenté in the bakery, mm -hmm. they will do a pâte fermenté, you know, mm -hmm. uh, old piece of dough in the bakery yeah. you have, you will throw a piece of dough in also. Yeah, okay. So, so I will just mix it properly to a soft dough, it's no, you see, it's no gluten structure, rye. That's right. It's yeah. like, it's like it mud, mud. Yeah, it won't, <laughs> it won't, it won't hold together No, all, no, right? no, it will just... So that's why we put this little wheat only is twenty percent. It's tough. It's tough to mix it. Also, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. It, it, it resists a lot more the it, mixing than yeah. Uh, than so the sweet, what yeah? what I'm going to do? I bring it on the table. I like to work freely on the table. Mm -hmm. So we can move the water. I thought I would need some water, but we don't need any it water. Look like it, yeah. It's not too much work, eh? it's very simple. Yeah, yeah. The, we, don't, we don't need any gluten development, eh? we don't need any autolysis. Mm -hmm. And this will keep a very nice texture, moist. And uh, the one I did, the other one I did on the, on the you see, I'll just get the, the salt. You see mm -hmm. how it's sticky. <laughs> mm -hmm.
So I just need to incorporate the salt so we don't have the salt in one side. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the rye. Yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah, that's, this is that's how it is to work with rye. It's yeah. like mud, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you see? Yeah, you know. It's very I, sticky. I always say that rye gives you dough, wheat gives you a dough. You know? <laughs> <laughs> But it, it, you understand why it's so difficult to work with rye. Eh? It's uh, it's like mud. It's like but you know, it's difficult in some ways, but easy in others. You know, yeah. you don't have to do any stretch and folds, no, and, uh, no. kneading and shaping. That kneading is actually detrimental to the yeah. rye, right? It uh, stops the work of the pentazans. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do? I think uh, we cannot mix anymore. You know, it's, I think as long as the salt is incorporated nicely. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just leave it in the bowl, mm -hmm. in the bowl for half an hour, 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and then we will shape it, okay. and then we will let it proof okay. for maybe two hours, and then two, three hours, and then we're going to bake it last in the I'm going to be very interested to see how you shape it, because yeah, I've that's been playing a, with some rye recently, <laughs> I, I didn't used to shape it, I just no, put it in the pan and smeared it okay, down, no. but I want to see how you do that. The yeah. most, uh, what I want from this bread to have this natural crack, mm -hmm. this is what we, I'm going to show you okay. later, how we're going to do it. And I think it's going to be a nice volume also in it. So, so that's it. I will just put it in the bowl and let okay. it rest for like a bulk yeah. for one hour, 45 minutes, one hour, that's and then going we're to going be to be yeah. So, you okay. see, see the mess with the rye? <laughs> <laughs> So that is very sticky, you know. People who who don't have rye to work with, they don't get this feeling. They don't know what. Well, it. I see a lot of people insist on using yeah. the mixer, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, to me, the joy of mixing with the hands. Yeah, is yeah. Even, you and can it's mix good it. for your hands. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's good to you to feel to feel. Yeah. It's very important to but feel. It's also good for the skin on your hands. You know, yeah, bakers yeah. have very healthy, uh -huh. uh, healthy yeah. uh, hand yeah. hand uh, microbiome. Yeah. You know? But anyway, if you bake at home, it's a different thing. But uh, if you have to do hundreds of kilo, then it's a problem. I have destroyed my... Your wrist. My, uh, yeah. 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 So, okay. See you when it's time for the next project with the bread. See you next. Hi, we are back again. We're, back again. <laughs> We're having a good time. Eh? <laughs> so, it is time to shape the, the scalded rye now. You, we can feel the okay. dough is yeah. proofing. Eh? So, mm. Mm, tastes good too. Yeah, it will. So, what we're going to do, you need, uh, since it's a rye bread, uh, I'm just going to use rye flour here. I'm just sifting it to get more, little more finer. So, just too easy to work with. So, nicely spread, yeah. Yeah. So, remember, release. Take your plastic scraper. It's a very good tool. You know, so we can see. So, so we will see how big it is. So I, I think I will just divide it into two. Mm -hmm. So just just to get an idea what we have here. It's one kilo flour we have been using, it's a little more, you know. So, so. you have about 1.8 total or something like that? Yeah, yeah, more, more. Should be 850 here. Mm -hmm. That's it. 800, yeah. you see? Very close, yeah. 64. Yeah. So we just divide this in two, so. Okay. We make one round and one... Uh, Oh, no. that when you put it over here. You, you shortchange this poor guy here. No. <laughs> so, this is very, not too much flour now. What we're going to do, we need uh, the banaton with it, a lot of flour in it, actually, it's because this is what we're going to give this beautiful character of the bread. Remember, a lot of flour. This is. So a lot of flour and that sticks on the linen but for me it won't ever stick on the on the on the canes of the banneton so no no you, you just put a cloth really yeah, yeah 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 put a cloth or yeah. just a just a tea towel you know yeah anything any cloth you can use so mm -hmm. 
So what we're going to do? Uh, so we don't do so much. We, I will just pull it. Uh, just you see, we cannot do so much with it. Eh? I'll just make it rough like this. You cannot do so much. You see, I'll do it rough, just like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. That I'll do. I'll try to just roll it to make it to keep a shape, you know, and then I'll put this in the bottom. Okay, so when we bake, this will be the bottom on the oven. Okay. The other one will be rough, like rustic. Okay, you want to have it rustic. Uh, yeah. Right. I got you. So, and then with the same here, we'll just, you can see the fermentation is going. Mm -hmm. So this one lets it, let it, we don't... Just make a big sausage out of it. Yeah, you don't yeah, eat yeah, sausage, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> but you can see, you, you can see, it's see. It's sausage jealousy yeah, on yeah. your part, you know. <laughs> see. And you have a nice you, seam there. You yeah. have the seam, the seam, the seam will go up. Mm -hmm. This one we can just do a scoring on, on yeah. it. So I want to show you both, both. Seam up and yeah, seam yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the seam down there and seam up here. So we're going to let it proof for one, uh, two hours at least before we're going to bake it. If I wanted to put like oat flakes on, on top of that, would I yeah, use the oat flakes here on the We are on, on the, the table. Surface? Oh yeah, you roll it in water first. Yeah. We're going to, you're going to see with a carrot. Okay. With a carrot, how we're going to do it. It's the same process. Are you going to put oat flakes on the carrot? No, but uh, seeds. Oat okay, flakes, seeds, okay. anything is okay. all the same. Okay. Like in bakery, you will have a tray okay. with water and then the seed. Okay. Okay, so so we'll just leave it there and let it uh, proof for two hours and then we'll bake it later. Okay. All right, see you. Go. See you then. Now we are back again. Uh, we have been doing other things, baking pizza in between, and we enjoy Ooh, it. With, uh, incredibly good yeah. pizza too. So oh, wow. now it's gone almost two hours. See how beautiful the the dough is. The scalded dry. How it is. So you remember. You, I can bake it as it is. I can have this on the top, but I made it more rustic on the other side. So I'm going to. It's always the scary part for me when you okay. turn this over. I don't know how the guys do it. You know, I always mm. mess it up. So. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Don't be afraid. Just okay. do like this. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he makes it look so easy, you know. So, so I will just let it leave for cracking a little okay. bit. So I was putting the this one. Yeah, this one we're going to do a small. Uh, how you say scoring on it? Okay. Sometimes it's difficult to find my stuff, you know. So I just take a knife. Okay. So, so you see how we start cracking now? Yeah, yeah? it's cracking already. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, oh, you see, it's very yeah, it's the not door. The right uh, knife, no, yeah. no, but uh, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. I see cross it, okay. Yeah, I do. I do the diamond like this. Okay. So this is what I like. And this guy's just is. Yeah, it's not cracking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I will just we wait a few one yeah. minute, yeah. one minute. Let it crack. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I can help it a little, little bit. No. Oh, you demon! Huh? That's amazing. Okay, <laughs> that's a great trick. <laughs> you see now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? So let's bake. The oven is on the highest, 275. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't worry, parchment paper is not a... Oh, wait, I have to get the, the bowl of the steam bowl, not inside. Anyway, I will just throw, there's no time, so I'll just... Yeah, I did not check this. So. We're going to bake for around 45 minutes. 275 on the highest in the beginning, 10 minutes. And then we'll put down to 210 and then for the rest of the baking time. See you when it's ready baking. Okay. Okay. Okay, see you next. Looking good. Now we are back again. The big the, moment. Huh? Yeah, the rye bread is ready now to get out from the oven. Let's Poor check out. Boy, does it look good already in the oven. So huh? let's check out. It's oh. gone. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. See? Boom. 100% whole grains. 
Oh, amazing. Those are beautiful. Yeah, it, this is heavy bread, okay? It should be, but you see, beautiful character and color. Mm, smell. Oh, heaven. Just so, heaven. So this is just the first bread coming out from the oven today. And then all the bread will bake, all the five bread we're going to bake tomorrow. So this is a very beautiful bread. It's need to cool down. It's need to be matured before we cut into it. We'd never cut, we never cut uh, in, in, in hot bread, okay? So. Especially not rye. If it's yeah. rye, you really want to wait, uh, you know, at least 12 hours next yeah, day. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So uh, if it's got a lot of rye in mm. it, give it plenty, plenty of time yeah, yeah. to come onto it. So you can huh? see the beautiful color, you know. And the beautiful from the cuts. Yeah, beautiful. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll see you next. Yesterday you saw we were baking the rye bread. And rye normally need to be mature, you know, so we mix like a little bit of the of the flour in it so let's check out how it looks now so you see we have this beautiful knife here just going through you see one thing i want to point here it's very important when you cut rye bread it's always stick on the knife see here nothing nothing sticking amazing eh? <laughs> so Wow, see this, oh, that's nice. just beautiful, small, small, small slice, you know, one thing I want to point also, is very important, when you eat rye bread, you have to go thin slices, okay, mm -hmm. thin slices, don't eat <laughs> thick like this, okay, eh? yeah, wow, the flavor, let's try that. Oh my goodness. Taste, taste mm. bone. Mm. So I always taste a little bit of the crumb first. Okay. Because if well, I eat the crust, it's going to overwhelm me. Mm. So it's a beautiful flavor That's on so it. so sweet and floral. Mm. Yeah. And now a bit of the crust. Mm. Boom. Mm. Beautiful. So this is a good bread. So remember, whole grains, sourdough fresh meal nothing better than that good luck and take care and see you next